Hey guys, MJ here from Night Calls Your Boss. Today we're gonna look at the MH10 version 2. So this marks the next version of the MH10. This is the older one, 1000 lumens. We're using the old 1650 battery, they've upgraded it to 1200 lumens, a bigger, better battery. This is the new 21700 batteries, which essentially increases your brightness that doubles, literally doubles your runtime. Okay, so before we jump into the light, let's talk about the batteries first. What is the difference between you know the older model batteries and this? This is a 18650 battery, alright, and this is a double A battery. So you can see the size difference. They've upgraded it to a 21700 battery. Look at the size of that. Okay, thicker and longer. So of course, the maximum capacity of these are 5,000 milliampere, whereas the 19650 batteries have been kept at 3,005. So if you look at the light, how the old MH10 looks like, okay, with the old battery, and this is how the new MH10 looks like. Diameter-wise, thickness and all that, exactly the same, but they've managed to fit a much bigger, longer runtime battery in there. All right, so let's jump straight into the new MH10. First off, it does come with this okay it has an adjustment here so no matter how thick your belt is you can adjust this to get a good fit okay it's a quick draw so what this means is just pull up and out and you're good to go all right also there's a hole at the bottom of the holster so if you do have it in your belt and you want to turn it on you can have it like this so things like a uh, shoulder shoulder mounted stuff you can have it like this okay i need to make sure that you know that this light is not aimed at the tactical users so if, if you're in a situation where you need to hammer face a thing and signal silently and all that kind of things this is not the light for you all right this was made for everyday edc camping engineers or mechanics that's why you see the there's no tail cap switch at the back it's a flat tail cap so that allows it to tail stand one of the basic functions of any flashlight is to be able to tail, tail stand especially if it's a non-tactical kind of thing 155 300 and then the last one is of course 1200 lumens okay there you literally light up the whole room basically you can tail stand the thing okay that's how the front looks like 25 mm bezel created you have your single button here so the older versions of the mh10 had uh, rubber buttons Okay, these are rubber buttons. So these, if you pull it in and out of the holster, often it does wear out. Whereas these ones are all metal now. Okay, press and hold to turn on. Once it's at lowest mode, you want to change. Anytime you want to change mode, just press and hold. Press and hold, you will cycle to the one you want. Once you want, let's say you want this mode, you want to turn off, just click once. When you turn it on again, it will go back to what you left it at. Okay, so if, if I want it at low, press and hold. Okay, this is low and I turn off. The next time I turn it on, you'll remember the mode and you have your low lumens, all right? So it's so simple, right? There's no fancy uh, clicking anywhere. It's just press and hold to change modes, click to on and off. There is a USB-C charging port built in, all right? So if you open this up on the front. Now, USB-C gives you a big improvement over the older micro USB cable. So there are no uh, set direction where you have to plug in left or right orientation right whereas the older micro usb cables you have to fuss with the right orientation especially if it's in the dark you need to oh, i can't get it why why not and then you twist it then in the end you damage the port on the light and you damage your cable so usb c is a much welcome upgrade to this light so let's i'm going to show you how you charge it so just plug it in and plug the other end to any uh, power bank or usb port once it's in you will see the charging indicator here this blue light when it's blinking slow it means it's charging okay when it's blinking fast okay i caused the error by unplugging this see now it's blinking fast means it's not charging once it's fully charged it will stay constant on all right so it takes about uh, four hours to charge uh, 5000 milliampere so this considered actually a fast charger built into this light which is something that is uh, also new is unheard of in uh, flashlights right traffic cone here and the ndf 25 uh, diffusion lantern so the number at the back is actually the diameter of the bezel all right so it just fits on like this there you go and then you can have it tail stand like this and turn it on then you have yourself a working lantern you can have it anywhere you want okay let's go to the max there you go that perfect all right you can have this anywhere hang it anywhere you have our camping lantern okay you can switch it over to the traffic cone mode then you got your perfect traffic warning down signaling whatever all of that so if you want this to blink this light does have your strobe sos and beacon mode to get to that just 
turn it off first, double press, it will always go to your stroke first. So this is a great warning light. If you press and hold again, it goes into your beacon. So just leave it there and it will, this will last for days. Especially on the 5000mAh battery, this will last for days like this. You can also press and hold one more time to go into your SOS. Three long, three short. Okay, this will be your perfect emergency your vehicle breakdown uh, kind of light. All right, so one more very useful function that the, some of the guys have discovered is if you want to have this on a belt, let's say you're a uh, safety officer, let's say I go into SOS and I want to carry this with me on my uh, rear belt, so I can slap it in this way. All right. And now what do I have is I have a body mounted uh, cone or belt. So most of the guys have this on their belt at the back safety so that vehicles can see them working. So this is very smart. This was never possible before on the older uh, MH10 lights. So this is, this is a welcome addition. All right, so this is it. This is the MH10. There really isn't much to, to go through. I mean, it's waterproof. Everything is as you would expect for any kind of night call lights, five year warranty. So on launch, the battery is already included. What else is included? The battery magazines. If you are concerned with the old, the new 21700 batteries being uh, too expensive or not enough of this, you can still use your old 18650 batteries. So slot it into the magazine and you can use it as you would a uh, 21700 batteries, okay? So if you have a stockpile of old 18650 batteries, you can use those. Don't worry about that. USB-C charging cables, pocket clip, lanyard, uh, spare o-rings, all of that. Alright, that's it, the MH10 version 2. Alright, so if, you, if you're if you looking to get one of these for your guys, your team, your, your organization, we do have bulk pricing in a 1, 3 and 10 pricing, so the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. And regardless of how many you buy, it, the, all of them will come with these two very useful attachments, the lantern and the traffic cone attachments, okay, only on nightcallites.com, okay. Uh, that's it. If you have any more questions on this slide, just comment down below. MJ signing out.